Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Professor Govala and today I'm going to be talking to you about the common drain and channel MOSFET and especially we're going to talk about the input resistance, the output resistance and the AV gain and we're going to analyze and solve for them. If you want to pause the video and see if you can solve them using different circuit analysis methods, feel free to do so. Um, to begin, this, also, this circuit is also called a source follower. Uh, source follower. And essentially, it's called a source follower, as we'll see in, in, the, pat in, the, in the lecture or in the video, that because AV is approximately equals to 1. And um, it's called the common drain because the drain terminal is common to the circuit, is grounded. So let's go ahead and label some things here. So again, this is D, our drain, this is your gate, and this is your source. So to begin, let's start by solving for Rn. So I've written this Rn here, or I've re redraw, redrawn the circuit, and essentially we say that Rn is equals to Vn divided by In when Vo is equals to zero or is grounded. So essentially this Vo goes away and we have a ground here. This is zero volts. So then this is zero volts. So then this goes away. So essentially the only thing that's remaining is this Vn um, and this Vgs where we are pumping in an IN into here. We can say then that IN is equals to zero. So that's my first equation. And my second equation is a KVO. So minus VN plus VGS is equals to zero or VN is equals to VGS. So then let's go ahead and solve for Rn. So Rn is equals to In, which is zero, or, or Vn, Vn over In, which is Vgs over zero, which is approximately infinity. And this is a very, very important parameter for the concept of a source follower. So uh, if you got this, that's good. If not, please leave, the, leave any questions you may have down in the comment section below, and I'll be sure to get back to you. Let's go ahead and now talk about the R out. So R out is, um, so we say here, let me, R out is equals to V out over I O. And there's multiple ways of solving this, but what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to consider that this resistor RO here is in, this, is in parallel with RS because they share the same node and ground. So I'm going to erase it and put it in parallel with RO, with RS. And I'm going to consider, let me consider this to be IO. Let me consider this here to be IOS. Um, and since RO is VO over IO and VN is equal to zero, this VN here goes away. So then that's just grounded. So I'm going to write some equations. I'm going to start with IO. And I'm going to say that IO or a KCL equation, I'm going to say IO is equal to um, IOS minus GM VGS. And essentially, I could say then that IOS is equals to IO plus GM VGS. The next equation I'm going to write is a KVL equation here. And I'm going to say, let me call this one. And this KVL says that plus VGS plus VO, because again, the drop across here is VO. Uh, that's equals to zero. So VGS is equals to minus VO. Let me go ahead and plug this 
into here. And what we get for IOS of the current through the source resistance in parallel with RO is IO plus GM times negative VO. All right. And then the last thing we want to do is write a KVL in this loop here. Let me call this two. And let me start up here. And I, I can say that minus VO plus RS in parallel with RO times IOS is equal to zero. So then this just becomes minus VO plus RS in parallel with RO times IO minus RS in parallel with RO times GM VO is equal to zero. This minus sign is coming from here. So I hope that makes sense. So then we can go ahead and move everything in the VO region to the right hand side. And we could say then that VO one plus RS in parallel with RO GM is equals to RS in parallel with RO times IO. So then R out, which is equals to VO over IO is basically RS in parallel with RO over one plus RS in parallel with RO times GM. This one here is negligible, so we can go away. And essentially, we would get that um, this will cancel out with this. So for a common drain amplifier or a source follower, we say that R out is approximately one over GM. Um, so consider which is extreme, which is uh, small. So we consider that GM is 10 millisiemen, then R out is around 100 ohms, which is uh, relatively small. Uh, again, again, this is a nice characteristics for a source follower, uh, having a small R out, but a large, a large RN is something that we utilize to create different amplifiers. So the last thing we want to talk about is the AV gain. Um, and in terms of the AV gain, I'm going to do some modifications as well. I'm going to consider that R out is in parallel with RS for the same reasons as before. Um, again, it leaves from the same terminal as RS and goes to ground. That's the reason. Uh, I'm going to consider that VO is the drop across RS, so plus minus VO. And I'm going to consider that the current that goes from here flows through here as well. So um, this current here is GMVGS. So I hope that makes sense. And I'm going to write some equations. I'm going to first write a loop equation here. I'm going to consider this a KVL, so minus VN plus VGS plus VO is equals to zero. So then VGS is equals to VN minus VO. Next, uh, we can consider my KCL equation, and I could just say then that, or I can consider Ohm's law. I can consider Ohm's law and just say then that VO is equal to this resistance RS in parallel with RO times uh, my current, which is V, which is GMVGS. Um, VGS is basically this. So I'm going to plug it in here and I'm going to receive VO is equals to RS in parallel with RO times VN minus RS in parallel with RO times V out. If I go ahead and 
add this term to the right hand side and pull out a VO, I get VO one plus RS in parallel with RO is equals to um, I'm missing something here. Um, I'm missing a GM on both terms. All right. So again, this GM here was missing. So then this is one plus RS in parallel with RO times GM, which is equals to VN RS in parallel with RO times GM. We can go ahead now and solve for AV. Let me use a different color to make it stand out more. So then AV is equals to V out over VN, which is equals to um, RS in parallel with RO GM over one plus RS in parallel with RO times GM. And again, you can notice that this one is negligible. So then the numerator cancels out with the denominator. So then this is approximately one. Um, and again, in my next video, I'll talk about the source follower. Or um, this is also called a voltage buffer. And there's reasons why we need this in certain applications, which I won't dive in this lecture or in this video. But essentially, if you remember from uh, circuits analysis class, maybe circuits one or circuits two, if you have a VN one or a VN and you have a V out and AV is equals to one, this is basically what you would use. Uh, as your buffer and this is equals to one times VN and there's reasons for why we would want to just flow a VN straight to a V out um, again in certain applications but your current your source follower is essentially your, your voltage buffer as well I hope this video made sense if you like the video uh, uh, if you have any questions on the video please leave them down in the comment section below um, Please like the video, share the video, uh, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.